Hi everyone, I thought you hope you're all doing well. I thought I'd do a quick video. This was to think back on uh, the previous week or the week before, uh, two weekends ago, when we did the fire walk, when I was on a, a training course. It was a it was a bit of a challenge. I'm trying to think of the right words to describe it, but it was education as well, because we had uh, a few hypnotists there uh, training us in different skills. And I wanted to explain some of the things that we did. And I thought the easiest way to do it was just to go into the tablet and if I switch my camera. Uh, this was doing the fire walk. Now, for some reason, the chap that filmed it, he actually hit the button and it switched to slow motion. But if I come down here, I can actually speed it up. And what you can see here is, there's the fire. We topped up the, the main walkway with the fire. That's the, the pile of uh, logs being burned through. And uh, I think it's more comical if I do it fast. <laughs> like Benny Hill style. So, uh, so that was the first one. That was the first challenge. That was on that particular day. There's quite a few. But the other interesting one was this, was the arrow. Now, if I go back to the arrow, if I hold it back a bit. See here. You can see the point of the arrow there. Now, it wasn't sharp as a pin. But when you held the arrow between your two hands and pushed the point, it was quite painful. But the thing about this was we had now to try and break that with our throats. So if I get that, now the idea is you hold up the arrow. Now what I missed there was we had to write a load of intentions along the side of the arrow. And this is my metaphor was to break through that, that intention and you step into it and break through, and there was nobody more surprised than me when that was completed. And there's the other one, it's, the right's not very good because you try to write on the narrow. And my thoughts were to step through, was my challenge, my, uh, my stepping forward to helping people. I'll try to find the right words to say, but I can't but say it in smart there. So if I move through, I wrote down, step forward, step up to the plate, get out there, in other words, get people to know that I exist on the planet and help people. So that was my challenge to break through and uh, basically step up to the plate, just get out there and start helping people. And the only way I can do that is to let people know that I exist, that I am on this planet. And the final one, this one was interesting because... That was the one, I was actually quite reluctant. I was going to say afraid, I don't know if afraid is the right word, reluctant, we'll say, okay, I was afraid. I was quite reluctant to do this because I had issues with my feet in the past and I thought, if I stand on broken glass and they catch under my toes, then I'm going to be in serious trouble. Or I could be in trouble. But, uh, but the idea was to step on the glass and for each, you could, you took your time, allow it to crack, allow it to settle and Declare your intentions. Every time you heard a crack, you were to imagine that's letting go of something, something negative in your own life. And that was quite interesting. But again, for me, it was about facing the fear because when I sat in the class or in the, in the group and they described what we were about to do, I kept telling myself, this will be easy. Every, everyone has done this. This will be easy. This will be straightforward. Uh, I'm trying to find the camera again. Sorry for that. I just thought, I'll be able to do this. I've, I've done survival training for the oil rigs and we kind of found ways of, you know, like escaping in a helicopter turned upside down in a swimming pool. It's quite a, quite a bit of a challenge. And uh, we've done firefighting. But what I tell myself is, everybody else has done it. People have done this before me. Everyone gets through it, because you had to, because if you didn't, then you didn't go offshore to, to your job. So I had that kind of mindset that I can do this. I used to say, this will be easy, this will be easy, even if it wasn't. But this challenge with the walking on the broken glass and breaking the arrow, uh, I, I was trying to tell myself, everyone else is going to do this. We can do, I can do this. If they can do it, I can do it. That kind of thing. Uh, but my heart was, was started to race, even though my conscious mind was convinced I was going to do it, even though my conscious mind was telling me, this will be easy you're going to do this, etc. My heart started to pound. And I thought, my subconscious mind has got a different idea about this. It doesn't think this is going to be easy. This is my fight, flight or freeze. 
uh, scenario that's that's kicking in. But the difference, I think, the difference with this from say someone afraid of dogs or or heights is that that's a a programmed response that that's kicked in, and quite often they don't know where it's coming from. I think I kind of knew where this was coming from. So it was a kind of case of just stepping up and getting on. But hello there, Jim. See you watch your answer, good man. Uh, so that was it. That was that was the the lesson for me. That was the learning curve. Was uh, that the, there was a fear that we had to step up and get on with it anyway. And then, of course, it gave me a kind of understanding about how other people may feel who have got uh, unconditional fears and phobias uh, and what's going on in, internally, which in this case was the heart racing. So anyway, that was it. Just a quick uh, update on that. I thought you know had these challenges and they all served a purpose and they hopefully uh, came away being a bit wiser. I don't know if it was wise to break an arrow using my neck. I don't know if that was brave or, or wise or whatever. But, uh, but it made a point. <laughs> Do you get it? It made a point. No, it made me realise a few things about fears and phobias and about stepping up and about uh, possibly what other people have to face in their lives. So that was it. Just a quick one for now. And I'll catch us all there. All the best for now. And you, Jim. <laughs> See you later, buddy. Bye-bye for now.